Welcome back, ladies and gents, to a new episode of what is continuing in our game show style series. Uh, so this one is called Sell Me This. Uh, I'm joined here by Sam. Hello. Uh, and in the background, uh, and our impartial independent adjudicator, we have Pete. Hello. Um, so I think the best way, because he has um, contrived this Spectacle, yeah, with Pun- some punishment. So, <laughs> we'll pass this over to Pete to explain the yes. rules. Right, the idea of this game is we have randomly selected some products and the idea is either Stu or Sam will be selected to either uh, defend or, if you like, attack a particular product. Now, regardless of their personal opinions of said product, they have to argue their allotted corner. So this is going to get pretty interesting, I think. But uh, yeah, with that said, let's bring up the first question. The AAP01. I have to argue for it. Sam has to argue against it. Falcon, Falcon, start this one. Hmm? Oh, you give me... You're for... I'm I'm, I'm, ladies first. Yeah. (laughs) Age before beauty. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So the AAP1 is uh, by far... By far, one of the most popular pistols that has hit the airsoft market in probably as far as I can remember. That what? What? <laughs> Don't get personal. No, continue, Don't get personal. Continue. Attack the AAP, not me. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> it's lightweight. It's extremely reliable. I don't know many that have ever come back damaged or broken that wasn't potentially um, user caused. There is an astronomical amount of upgrade capability you can trick them out people can run carbine versions uh there's a new little c version coming out so um i think we're talking about just that there's no c on the end of that there's no c on the end of that (laughs) i'm just saying it's it's showing it's showing its popularity by them making new models thank you for the information cool well i disagree entirely (laughs) because i have to um it's just it's just a Glock, but they've made it look minging. It's like a bit of plumber's pipe on top of a Glock lower. Yeah, it's very thin plumber's pipe. But... Oh, yeah. But it's weird looking. Don't you like sci-fi stuff? No, I hate sci-fi. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's weird looking. It's just another... I... It's cheap. Which is a good thing to see how good its build quality is. It has full auto, it has semi-auto. It's got a threaded barrel. The, t- the hand one looks like baby sick. Hmm. But what if you like baby sick? Then... I'm going to need some more compelling argument yeah, from yeah, you, yeah, Sam, yeah, yeah, I give think. Me, give me a minute. <laughs> give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you, say, you say it's one of the best airsoft guns, to pistols, to hit the market in potentially your career, airsoft yeah. career. Which is a long time, by the way. We found out yesterday it's 10 years. Yeah. So, are you saying it's better than like a gold match and a Mark 23? Uh, according to the populace, probably. I don't think so. There are so many better pistols out there which are Glock compatible as well, if that's your particular poison, if that's the benefit of it. There are, there are other ones which do the same thing. There are ones that look a bit more... I don't know if traditional is the right word, but look more like an actual firearm as there's opposed to a toy. There's potentially a better. You could you could call the gold match better in a very narrow bracket, whereas the AAP... Of performance. Of, 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 just, of just being a pistol standalone on its own. Yeah. Um, some people trick it out to do pistol shooting and stuff like that. People are starting to do that with the AAP, but the AAP gives you that opportunity that if you want to do all... Like, yes, people HPA the gold match, they HPA the AAP, but it's like... Um, like the Mark 23, like the carbine kits and your other options that it gives you. You can just trick this thing out way beyond the scope of anything else. I don't think you can do anything and, and extra you, with that that you can't do with the Mark 23. Apart from you could have three of them for one of the other one. I'll concede to that. That's just funny. But Does that mean I, I feel like I'm going to stop it here because, <laughs> you, yeah, given some pretty weak argument from uh, one side of the room there, uh, I'm going to have to say that Stu wins that one. Uh, so well done for that. 
Uh, let's move on to our next product then, please. The Chris Vector. I have to argue against. Uh, and Sam has to argue for. So. Now, I'm going to clarify here and say I'm guessing this will be the current Crytac AEG Chris Vector. I believe so. As opposed to the old gas blowback. Well, let me just start by saying it's a fucking icon. Uh, it's it's a standout icon. I think you in... pronounced I saw wrong, but yeah, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an icon. <laughs> It, what, it works flawlessly. It's been around a long time and the demand is still there. Mm. There are multiple editions, limited and otherwise, which tweak the recipe but make it just, just mm. ever so slightly better. Um, even you yourself were saying yesterday about that we should get a gas one for the shop because it's just such a stylish uh, because, thing. Because the independent adjudicator has uh, ID'd the Crytac AEG as being the one that we're talking about. If we could get a gas Sil- one... Silhouette's a silhouette. It's, it's, it's an icon. But, but, but <laughs> the AEG one, it's, it's nonsense bespoke gearbox is almost impossible to mod or upgrade or change in any way. Even if you want, like, the HPA market out there at the moment that wants to do all sorts of this kind of stuff, you have to randomly 3D print parts to even remotely make that work. It's awkward to sort of crunch down and get into this weird position. Um, Mag changes, you've got to add bits if you want to change it and and do things. Um, The mags themselves, awkward for pouches. Um, you've got to get like weird. I mean, you like P90C so weird anyway. So you can have, you've got to get these weird mags that are sort of stuck up in your face and you're like, oh, it's just awkward. It's just, it's just an just awkward platform. It's not static. Yeah. On it, when you buy a Crytek AG, you are not going to HPA it. If you are HPA in them, stop it. <laughs> it's just, it, it, you get out of the box, you're presented with what is close to God tier. All nice, it works. They just, they just, it just works. It's, I mean, what kind of a nonsense platform has two round bursts rather than three? Why, why, why stop at two? Why stop? Why not have a three round burst? <laughs> Get good. The the Falcon control system does two round bursts, and which you you were a big fan of. Yes, but I can set it to three round bursts. I mean, the Crytac, it's stuck. You are stuck. Two round or nothing. But you just, you can just. No, <laughs> skip past that. Skip past that setting and go to the fun setting. Yeah, because AG got brr, brr. and that's that, in a weird I, way. It it is a mo- it's a modern icon, great SMG platform. That particular that they one had to is make, a great airsoft platform. That they had to make some world. bonkers weird gear sp- bespoke gearbox that it was is now it, almost imp- it's impossible to upgrade aftermarket if you wanted to do anything cool to nothing's impossible. You've got to put some possible. serious effort in, but it's not as straightforward as like what the guys have done with the bolster or anything like that. No, it's built not. off a Crytac platform. It's not. They couldn't do a vector, but but I, but I bet we could I challenge them. But I don't think they. I don't think they need to. It's a brave call, is that? Mm. A lot of confidence in the product there, Sam. I, if we had it up there, I think it'd sell my argument completely. But you all know what it looks like. <laughs> Uh, right, okay. Tough call for that one. Uh, I'm going to say... I'm sorry, Sam. Really? But Yeah, based on oh. the arguments themselves, I'm going to have to give it to Stu again. Which is a shame, because I really like the Vector. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you got you got to try harder, Sam. Mm. you got to really, really back, argue your back. point. I don't <laughs> right, let's bring up the next product. Oh no, okay, we're looking at the scores first. We were, uh, yeah, that's uh, trailing that's, behind, that's... trailing behind already, Sam. It's looking pretty sad, Sam. Two 0 I feel a bit scorned on that. Yeah, to be honest. Right, we'll have to see what comes up next. Indeed, yeah. let's have a look at the next product. <laughs> uh, interesting. The FNX four. I don't know where you stand on this. Right. this is a civic. Sam, I'm going to say you go first. Cool. Um. Good start. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I'm I'm just trying to make sure this is the um, the Cybergun. Yeah. Yeah. So again, it's another good looking platform. Mm. Um, obviously, there's the tactical variant, but the Civi, I think, is the nicer looking of the two. It's nice and compact. Um, it's got a nice. They've had, the airsoft ones have nice kicks to them. If we're, if we're going into the airsoft ones, it's Cybergun, so it's made pretty decently. 
Um, the flat dark earth that it comes in is very nice. It's got that um, that US military color from the M9 A3. Um, it's just a good all-round pistol. It just never let you down. I have, I've never owned one, but I do like them. I mean, I can get you a spoon to dig yourself out of this hole that you're in, but why have the Civvy one when the mil specs one is available? And you could just be, you're basically going, I want this really, really cool toy without some of the cool bits. You want the Civvy variant that doesn't have like the pl the optic plate at the back. Um, you want these weird, weird, creepy crow mags sticking out of your mag pouch, just going, hello, I'm over here. I, I, I would like to make the argument that the mags are neither here nor there, yeah. as you can use any mags, and the one that comes in the box, they're not, they're all have to be chrome. Yeah, so let, it's let's, just, let's, it's just let's, sat there, like, just, waving at you. Someone shines a torch at you, you though. might as well light up the Eye of Mordor, and it's just, oh, I'm over here, dead. There you go, shot. All because of a mag, just glowing in your pouches. One, you don't need an optic on, on a pistol. It's got the sights on it are perfectly fine. It's a very big perfectly fine. Need and want. You can want whatever you want. I'm not saying it's perfect for you. I'm saying it's a great platform. No threaded barrel. I want to be sneaky beaky. No. It's, you, no. You, you, you're, putting, you're putting limitations on what could potentially be a great platform. Having the civvy one. Yeah. I want sneaky beaky optics as tactical as humanly possible. And just... This is, let's all just remember, ladies and gentlemen. Chef's kiss. <laughs> that this is airsoft. Yeah. And and it's all about looks. So uh, No, so, no. Yes, it's about looks. So we'll look. have the civvy one, which is but like just walking around. You like want house. to be sneaky. Yeah, a suppressor on the real one probably does make it a bit quieter. Yeah. That one ain't very loud. <laughs> but it makes you feel sneaky. Yeah, well, I don't, yeah, well, sneaky's in here. <laughs> we all know sneaky's a state of mind, right? You don't, you don't need any of that fancy stuff because it just takes, it, it it doesn't retract from the solid platform that it, it actually is. But it's not the military version. It's not the military version. Which is better. It's better. <laughs> it's the Civi version. <laughs> I, I bet if we pulled up sales data, the Civi sells more. Oof. But does that mean the AAP is better then? No, you can we're see we're, only, we're <laughs> only concentrating on the uh, FNX here. No I, think, I think I've heard enough there. Um, I think the magazine reflection argument is a bit moot because obviously you can get mag pouches that are big enough to cover up the whole magazine anyway. So it's that's very not, chrome. That doesn't matter. I, don't, I really don't think that matters. And like Sam says, you don't have plus, to get yeah, chrome mags. Plus you don't have to, yeah. And, um, and if it's already in and you change it, you flick it out, it's on floor, never in there. Stats. Broken, never to be seen again. Yeah, man. And uh, I would argue also that a threaded barrel is of limited actual use, really. Certainly not for suppressors. Oh, no, they just make a gun yeah. more unwieldy, personally so speaking. Fire, right? Ruins your gas efficiency. Can't have a fire, right? <laughs> but, uh, no. Traces think, are also a state of mind. I think, I think based on that, uh, I'm going to give this one to Sam. So uh, congratulations, Sam. So well done for that. And we shall move on to the next product, please. Pity point. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, what cruel god right. is this? We've just had this, surely. So the FNX 45 Tactical has <laughs> suppressors on it, optics, you can have a tracer unit, it doesn't have glow-in-the-dark chrome mags, it comes in black and tan, um, it is a, an incredible visual art piece of a platform uh, that is uh, second to none. Um, wiping the civilian version out of the market. Sells worse. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to put all that rubbish on the end of it, it's going to ruin your gas, gas efficiency. Mm -hmm. Again, optic, it's just going to make it heavier. Mm. And you don't want to rely on all this furniture. What if it gets shot out? What if it goes wrong? Nothing like some nice iron sights to really keep you Is quick. Is this what iron sights do for you now? In each eye, keep you it, keep it quick. <laughs> yeah, you're just there. I, 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 yes, if you if you are a military contractor or an actual country, <laughs> go for the tactical, as long as it shoots bullets. <laughs> but right here, you, you don't want that one. I, I you want the civilian. You, you, you want put, the civilian one. If you put the the sort of placid 
boiled gammon that is the FNX Civi on the table next to the <laughs> filet mignon that is the FNX 45 with a suppressor and a, a dot sight on it and, so, and you looked at them and, and you, you gravitated to the salty gammon I'd be disappointed in your life. This choices. is all hyperbole <laughs> and nonsense metaphors and our independent adjudicator but will if not you... fall for it. <laughs> We're here for facts and the facts are if the, if the tactical is so perfect they wouldn't have made the Civi one in airsoft. It's only because it it, it exists it exists it's, in real life because it's a better looking one in real life and they thought they better they mm. treat airsoft just to the real f- McCoy mm. and and are we, are we, I rest my case yeah I, I think well this has put me in somewhat of a, a, a conundrum <laughs> given my previous vote yeah. on the previous <laughs> product so I kind of have to go with Sam again. <sighs> I can't. I can't go back on what I said before, really, can I? So uh, it's a nicer platform. Yeah. Uh, right. It's the anyway. same platform with more bits on it. It has to be better. Tap. You just, just over decorating. It's like putting loads that. of massive spoilers on your car. Makes it better. Don't. Don't even try and justify <laughs> that. You're on. You're on camera. Stop it. Right. Speed let's, holes. Let's have the next product, shall we? Desert Eagle Full Auto for me. Do. Sam against. I don't have to argue this. It's a Desert Eagle that fires full auto. A Desert Eagle is awesome because it's iconic, it's big, it's bold, it's garish, it's a 50 AE. And then if it's got a fun switch on it, the ty- it's in the name. Fun switch. 50 AE, 6mm, right? Yeah. Not one, all nonsense. It's just, eh, it's just mm. what it is. As soon as you get the fun switch on, like all, well, n- nearly all airsoft platforms, you're going to lose your efficiency. You're going to start going, and you're just going to spaff it into the side of someone's back, and then you're all, you're all out, and then you're having to change, wasting time, potentially getting shot if you're in a CQB arena. They're sneaking up on you. But you're a sniper. And there's okay. all these snipers out there trying to be sneaky and, and do all this kind of thing. You have a thing with sneakers. No, that's what I mean. Snipers being sneaky, they're like crawling around. And every now and again, right. someone steps out a little bit too close. Yeah. It's time to go out. It only takes it only takes one shot if you're if you're a Not if there's more player. than one person. You've got a thing, you've been sat, you've been gillied up and you're you, like, you know, you, you could, could have you, you could press have the 20, trigger more than you once. You could have shoot. a mark twenty three, yeah. you could have all this kind of stuff, but if you stand up from behind a tree with a chrome Desert Eagle. Uh, it doesn't say colour. The Cybergun ones are chrome. The ones no, that are No, they no. They do have they black, black auto ones as well. And they have... Um, they do a, I think they do a stainless steel Well, they do ones gold well. ones. They do chrome ones. They do... But they do, do, they do a black one. Yeah. You step out with, with a black... With a black with Desert, black Desert Eagle, Eagle if you yeah. want. If you want. Yeah, go on. That thing starts chugging off like a choo-choo train. Okay. And everyone within the vicinity... Knows where you are. Knows where you are, but they're also dead. Mm, I would argue not. Because as soon as that... I would argue all report a, sni- goes a, sni- off. a sniper backup. You want you want something like a Mark Twenty Three, something with single shot, boom, boom, move, shoot, move, shoot. My counter to that is when I played sniper and I was fully gillied up, being super sneaky. My backup was a Mac Eleven because when someone gets close, it's panic button. You're making a Desert Eagle panic button. Yeah, which is incredible because you are saying. But this, this is, this, saying, is this is more about you, you, you as a player because you're you also run that, LMGs that seem C- CQB sites. Yeah. So I, you're, you're saying that you could fire it one at a time. Yeah, of course you, you could. could because the Desert Eagle has a selector switch. It is the same as a normal Desert Eagle, but with full auto. My, my problem is not necessarily with the Desert Eagle platform; it is with the full auto switch. Mm. It, so I agree with everything you're saying about the semi-auto capabilities of the Desert Eagle. Yeah, I'm saying that switch you can just take it out. But then it won't work at all because that is also your safety. <laughs> Maga hot my safe. This is my safe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, um, uh, I think the amount of fun that you will have with a full auto Desert Eagle is something beyond reproach. Until you snap your slide. Uh, the, the Cybergun ones, the, the metal work and the, the build quality on them, mm-hmm. even the CO2 ones, like. They're brutal. They rock your world. They'll snap your finger off. <laughs> Well, I rest my case because it's a Desert Eagle, which is iconic and awesome. And Agreed. It has a fun switch. Unnecessary. Just more to go wrong. All right, Dan. Mm. <laughs> it's difficult because, again, 
uh, in Stu's corner. I, yeah, I do like the shock and awe. The, I, the shock and awe of the Desert Eagle. Yeah, that's a good way of putting How it. Practical is it? But in Sam's defence, I also think a full auto switch on a pistol is stupid because it's just going to rattle the pistol to bits sooner. Not the more, the more you Rafflica. use it. Amazing. Mm. Glock 18s. Amazing. I've, I've, Again, you are naming two platforms which are technically designed specifically for Fallout in mind when they are not. That is an addition yeah. to the normal one. So, how am I going to vote? Let me think. Hmm. I'm... <laughs> I'm glad this table. Good job, table. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can feel the tension from here. I'm going to give this one to Stu, I think. Yeah. I think Stu gets it. Only just, though. It's very close. I love winning very points close. that I don't agree with. Uh, and I think at that point, we can probably uh, we can probably check out what the scores are. Let's see how we're doing, shall we? Ooh. Oh, 3 2. Ooh, it's come, it's come very back. close. A few of them are pity votes, but well oh. <laughs> To you. No. Uh, so we'll move on to the next item on the list. Oof. Right. No, hit me with it. No, hit I me with no, it. No, no, Stu, no, Stu, I Stu, really Stu, go first. You want me to really go first? Yeah, I want to hear this. The L85 is an absolute iconic platform that has been around since 1984. Um, and if it was that bad, they'd have replaced it already. Um, <laughs> no, they've replaced it with like the, they've replaced they've, the handguard. They've, they've not replaced it. A <laughs> one. They've in, improved it. Technology advances. So they, they've, they've changed it because no. it's not the A one. The A two has two different changes on it. It's got a little coating on the gas things to make it easier to clean, uh, and a slightly different. Bolt, and and bolt. Why, why, why did they change the bolt? <clears throat> why did they change the bolt? Mm. Uh, because it didn't have a brass deflector. Yeah. So what used to happen? Uh, I'm not going to go into that story. <laughs> um, <laughs> Again, L eighty five ball pop. Um, it means you have a compact uh, platform. So you've got a full rifle length mm. platform in something that is usually about a third the length shorter. So accuracy, better. Mm. Um, it obviously takes NATO magazines. So again, airsoft, it doesn't really make much of a difference, but it didn't say airsoft or not. So I'm going to use every argument in my uh, <laughs> arsenal that you can share mags with different countries. Love that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you have a various different types of optic mounts with the dovetail. You can have the iron sights. You can have the SUSAT. They've gone on to the ACOG system now, the LCAN. Uh, you can drop the front. The front sight post, simply, screw, falls off. <laughs> Fall, <laughs> falls off. That's would a be, design feature, would be, is it? <laughs> would be the right, exact okay. start of yeah. my <laughs> argument. Yeah. Uh, very different to like M4s and things like that that yeah. you've got to like trying to, get, <laughs> no, trying to get to the, like, the gas system and things like that. Oh, we're still on. Right. You, you basically, little door, little door, it opens up, gas system, clean it. Pour whatever you want on there. Coke. <laughs> Little oil. Personal experience. Well, you try to break them, though, so you didn't have to use them. Sometimes. Yeah. Um, so, the L85 A1. I wouldn't have used one for 10 years if I didn't like them. I think you were forced to use it. <laughs> <laughs> um, they are just notorious for being... Lee awesome. Dangerous. Um, Stu's slide over the charging <laughs> handle is because the brass... Gets flung back in and basically destroys what the rest of it. Cool. Very cool. I think Sam's going to use every argument in his <laughs> <laughs> Um And like Stu says, it's been around for a long time. Um, a long time of ruining people's lives. Um, with the A2 making some changes and now the A3. And arguably, they still haven't fixed the problem. It's still horrific. Well, the only thing that changed from the A2 to the A3 was the rail. It is. Modernization. It's ugly. It is a bullpup system, as, as Stu says, which arguably is nice and compact. But where they have this nice, massive magwell in stamped metal tends to just cut your arms up and jab you. So it's not comfortable. Compact, but not comfortable. It's specifically and iconically designed for yes, but the, accurate but, but long range shooting. But iconic can be bad. Not, not when it comes to the L85. It is, no. it is a staple. Like, you just see a, the LH5 with a bayonet on it and a lad <laughs> charging forward. It's like, that's iconic British. It's just English. British, yeah. 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 Charging across the desert. It's like Piers Morgan. <laughs> it, it's, it's, got, it's got a place in history. It has. Like the the footnote's going, we wish we didn't do this. 
It, there, there, there are so many better bullpup systems, compact systems. There are so many better actual army designed rifles as well. It's just not. It's a footnote in history, and it's a bad one. Sometimes they maybe rip the bottom of the page off just to exclude it. Uh, it's been heavily redacted. And it? weirdly, the airsoft ones seem to have all the same w weird issues that the real ones have. Like what? They didn't like they didn't decide to amend it. The uncomfortableness of it. The just things that fall off. I've seen ones that have just shot themselves in half for just no reason. <laughs> so I, I, they're just not good. Not good. Oof. I'm sorry for. I'm not feeling any. I'm not feeling a strong personal like. Commitment to this argument. It was mine. It is now like five. It I, is I don't, a glorious I, I, uh, achievement I, of manufacturing. I don't need to like hype it up because mm -hmm. I'm just spitting the facts. I'm just I'm an oracle <laughs> of the truth here, and that'll carry me on. Voice of a generation. Yeah, I, well, multiple <laughs> generations. I think at this point. Look at how many people want them. You're talking about sales. They're, they're out there. No. Oh. Oh, so wanted. I won't say it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Wall hangers. <laughs> So they can remember. Stats were the same. Can remember. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to rest my case. Hmm. Mm. It's a very difficult one, this. And it's very difficult to remain impartial because obviously there are some. You must there, be impartial. There are some. I know. I know I must. Yeah. I know I must. Because uh, there are obviously some, some guns that are cropping up that I already have some preconceived notions about. Uh, the L85 being very much one of them. That being said, based on the arguments, no. Stu, don't, Stu don't gets it. it. No. Stu gets it. I can sell ice to an igloo. I'm Try sorry. It. I'm sorry. But they do not buy L85. He, he was just lying. <laughs> he was just lying. You're allowed that, to look through the lies. It's not being not that's impartial. What arguing is. He's, been, he's been impartial. I gave my argument and it was. You lied. You car salesman him. I'm sorry, Sam. Mega I'm gaming. sorry. Because I also think it's, well, and Stu also thinks, you know, certainly the real steel version is just a horror story. Um, but you didn't, you, you, you didn't, didn't feel, feel like it. you had your you heart didn't behind feel it. the passion of your argument, I don't think. It was just, oh, it's a bit I rubbish. feel like I'm being, I'm being penalised on a technicality here. It's like, <laughs> showing, it's like not showing me working on using blue pen. Yeah. It's that's, nonsense. That's, that's what it is. You, uh, you, right. You didn't keep Move within on. the rules. Well, if I need to scream at him, Move if on. that's Move what. On. That'll help. That'll make good TV. Right. right, next question. Ooh, Ooh, interesting. The VSS Vinteres. You know what that is, right, Sam? You know oh, what I do. Okay, yeah. good. So four. Would you like me to go first? I'd like to hear what you've got to say. Oh, I mean, talk about iconic. There's a lot of iconic guns going on in this. Yeah, uh, I, think, <laughs> I think that's the, the theme is... It's got the iconic guns of the... It's the Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Wikipedia, I don't know any names. Right, that one I'll do. Um, the Vinteres itself yeah. is... That uh, one looks stupid as uh, it's gone for this one. Um, it is... Again, uh, a, visually wise, it's stunning. Um, Is it? Iconic. That whole sort of built-in suppressor style front end, you can see clamp it to your heart's content. Um, you've got plenty of sort of uh, options to build it up in sort of extra... Like, uniqueness is quite a difficult thing when it comes to uh, M4s and sort of builds like that. Any Vinteres M4 that I've seen has been built in sort of a very sort of personal way, and it sort of gives it a little nuance to itself, like a little bit of personality. Each one is individual, and they M4. are like the the like M4s are just it don't it doesn't matter how you build an M4 up, it looks the same. Whereas the Vinteres, every time you build one up, it's like it's unique, it's different, it's it's cool, suppressed. You've got the the mag styling, the stocks. You've got like the um, the standard sort of wire um, triangle stock, or you could put some Vintres um, tech on there and modernize them up. It's a bit of a left field work of art. It looks like a broom, an old broom they've dug out of some old Russian lady's hut. It had seven heads and four. And thumbs up <laughs> right, yeah. rounds into it. It's no. One. If you're going to go, I want to get a nice classic Russian platform, mm. you're going to go the Val, right? You're not going to get its ugly little... <laughs> you're not going to get <laughs> its ugly little brother or big brother. I don't even know. Probably big brother, technically. Mm. It's longer. Um, if I'm not incorrect in, in thinking, did they not like bring it out 
as that kind of assault platform and then try and start using it as like a sniper and other types of of platform thinking ah, it'll do it all and it just didn't. and it does no it did not it does it, it failed just, it, it just failed just it just didn't it didn't have the reach it sits, no it sits in so many categories yeah because they put it there it, just it doesn't out, mean it's, it just performs it, mean it just performs it it, it 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 can be an assault weapon it it's it's an it pre-built with the the sort of suppressed front end and the the sort of uh, you can get all the different clamps and rather than having like Riz that says oh you can only put a bit here you can only put a bit here. you literally put clamps on the front and put your accessories wherever you want. Yeah, like pl- modular. Yeah, like plumbing fitted modular. Clamps. We might as well use super glue or Velcro at that point. If it works. Well, that's just if it works. Yeah, if you want the Russian mentality of, of making a, an assault platform, yeah, go with that and mm-hmm. and slide plumbers fittings across your, in, your integrated suppressor. And it looks mint. There, it's minging. You've you, you've you stuck with that fixed stock. Not necessarily. Well. Well, t- t- it, it, I mean, originally they came, they came with that um, the the sort of yeah, the, skeletonized sort of the, wood, the wooden thing. But again, you you can drop that off and change it up. Yeah, you can cut it off. You can say that about anything, though. You can cut off, you can cut, the platform. Cut it. And it's like the SVD that that sort of back end. It's it's cool. Yeah, it's cool and it looks. No. But then your argument that oh, it's be- it's good because it's different because all M4s look the same. How do they look the same? When you've got things, you've got things that vary from um, your F, your five seven AR, mm-hmm. and then you've you've got that's things. not an M four. Mm-hmm. It's an AF seven. Oh, well, technically, but it's got the same re- receiver style and look of a platform. Mm-hmm. And then you go to something like you go like to our Arcos DMR, mm-hmm. which is a, a really long platform. You've got short things like Firehawks, Honey Badgers. Different star, you've got octagonal four one six star rails. You've got loads of stuff, and then again with your stock argument, you you can have any stock, no stock, collapsible things like you've got on your scar and brens. If you want, in, an AK does all of those things, and it does them better without you looking up there. You're gonna walk onto a field, and they're gonna go. <laughs> AK or Vintrez, I'll take a Vintrez any day. No, the stock's nicer. No. Stock's cooler. It's comfier. Like going prone, you've got like the nice no. little cheap, cheap rest. No, you wish you, you wish you buy it because you can't find or afford a valve, and that's the fact. And you know that's true. I disagree true. completely. Well, disagree. you can disagree all you want, but you're wrong. <laughs> that's the, not how arguments work. <laughs> the valve is the. This, oh, tell us, it, it's tell the, some of your arguments have worked. The valve is is, is, <laughs> is the, is the spec op, <laughs> it's a spec op standard. Yeah, it's it, it's covered in in for real steel and in airsoft. And you can do I'm all, not saying, I'm not all saying the, the valve's back. But you can do all the things and, and more that, that the Vintares can do. Not really. It can. How? Well, what, 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 what does yours do that the, the valve doesn't? Shoot BBs. They both shoot BBs. But it's got a bigger, more comfortable stock for like prone, sneaky, beaky positions. You've already said you want to cut it off because it's ugly. No, I said you could. Because it's ugly. No, it's beautiful. Mm. Rich mahogany. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm going to no. rest my case. Yeah, you've, you're right. Okay. I've I think made, you've both I've, done I've, there. I've made my points. Right, okay. Uh, Hmm. Not a fan of the idea of uh, Jubilee clipping your accessories onto the <laughs> built-in suppressor, to be fair. Uh, he did give you the option of Velcro. Oh, yeah. Velcro, okay, sorry. I'm saying Mo- the modern equivalent. If you want to MacGyver out yourself Hubba, out Bubba. of a situation, you can. But you could do the but same the thing. Could you could send the same things to an AK or a yeah. Val or an M4. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think Sam gets this one. Well done, Sam. Boo hiss. Boo hiss. Yeah, I like the Vinterest. <laughs> <laughs> so that hurt me a little bit. Uh, I do as well. Right, let's go on to the next question then. The org, org A1. A1. Oof. Against. Oof. Uh, Sam, you're a four, just, so you just, can go first. Yeah, awesome. Just for some clarification, mm. what is what defines the A1 variant? Uh, is it just the standard? Yeah, the box standard one, so it'll be 556. Five, yeah. uh, imagine... The roof scene out of Die Hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So the built-in scope and yeah, yeah longer yeah. barrel. Yeah, yeah. No, well, it's not. It's not the super not long one. It's just that kind of middle one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, we need to take that classic book off him. <laughs> he's just one of those. Again, away from M4 iconic shapes. One, love the green. Great choice. Do more of that. And again, pulling in other stylish models. It's just I love an integrated optic. P90, Peng. G36 integrated optic, Peng. Org, 
<laughs> yeah, right. if you like half a centimeter eye relief. But yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, let, let Sam I'll, finish his argument. I then. will quote the great Stuart Manx and say eye relief is just you're not close enough to the, the to the <laughs> optic or magnifier. You move to it mm. again. It's designed for perfection, and if you're if it's not working, it's you. It's the fleshy part on the end, right? Move closer. Use that natural zoom. It's it's classic video game cult status from uh, from Call of Duty is through to other other pla- other gaming titles. It's just great. It's got a nice little handle as well with that thing, so you can carry it. It's not a carry handle. It's a handle. It's an optic. Use it. More. No. <laughs> no. Uh, so, are you done in your terrible argument? I might, is... I, I might, I'll, I'll, I'll hear you out, yeah, but I don't, so, I'm, not, I'm not really So, listening. we'll we'll throw <laughs> the immediate and obvious curveball in. It's an assault weapon that is a bullpup. So, uh, when you try to reload, I'll see you in 10 years. Um, having to... L85 much? Uh, having, to, <laughs> having to strip mags, get rid, and then get another one, and put it in, it's like, you're dead. Um... Are we allowed to compare real steel with airsoft? I'll, I'll, I'll let you. Uh, so real steel, you have a stoffage. You've got to take the barrel off to un- unplug a stoffage, and then when you put it back on, you're no longer zeroed, so therefore firing it is against the Geneva Convention. Ah, Geneva Shmeva. Ah, yeah. Um, the green. The, the best thing about it. The green, right? Let's talk about um, probably the worst OD sort of colour scheme. M- and, and matching that in, in an... In a uh, a design element of of your standing, a design person of your standing, mixing that OD green with what can only be described as transparent fecal matter of a magazine. The magazine's an interesting choice. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> it, do you know, when I look at it, the colour scheme, it reminds me of another platform which I just love, which is the G3. That nice green mixed with the black. What? Where's the brown on the G3? Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, the mags, the mags, black and steel press. Transparent, so I can't see it. I just see straight through. Opaque. It. <laughs> Transparent. Opaque. But it just looks. It's, and that it's, weird. It's, that it's, weird a, sort it's of, a classic color combo. That weird sort of rib defect on the the magazine is just grip. And exactly when you it's where, where, where you shoulder an org, mm. the the mag isn't in a difficult place. It's. It's not in a hard place to get is to. Is this not... how you change your mags on an org? Shuffle like in your armpit. In your I, armpit. I ain't decided yet. Yeah. And then we'll we'll look at eye relief of the optic that's on an org. Um, what's that? Half half a half an inch uh, diameter, so twenty five mil straight line. You get a pla- trying trying to be a a two x. Why? Why be a 2X optic? Just middle ground. Just don't exist. Middle ground. Right. You, you've you got... I can squint. You've got, you've I got can a, squint and see further. You can get a gun out of the box. Yeah. You've got your optic there. It works. Might not have the biggest eye relief, but it's got a decent magnification that we can use close and far. It's, they're decent price. Have you seen the and iron sights on They're really cool. Again, you, if you don't... If you, you, you know, you like you getting into airsoft, but you've come from video games which is what's got you into it, and maybe you don't want to go for a normal M4, or you see everyone in M4s and you're like, oh, I'll go something different, but you still want to stay in that assault class. It's a great choice. Mm. You can put all your attachments on the end. No, you can't. You can. Air supplies. You can't put them on the end because they're all at weird 45-degree angles all over the body. What are you talking about? The Orc. The Orc doesn't yeah. have rail round the barrel. About, I'm, about, I'm about suppressor. I'm on about... Yeah, end, on, I'm yeah about, about, but... What kind of a system has eight different sections of rail? Different sections, not one piece. Yeah. There's eight different sections of rail, all at various 45 degree angles. I know you I like, love 45 yeah. degree angles. Yeah. It's great because you can fine tune things. And how you heavy did your gun get? No, that's because I had to work out the balance Front of the heavy. I put, put, pull them. And then how many times did the optics but not when, work? Yes, but when you've got, again, now we're getting way off topic because that's. that's it's 45 degrees. That's my, who needs. It wasn't because I had 45 degrees that who I needs, Who needs a down left 45? That's in the way of your grip. When when you've got your 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 shooting mechanism move further back because it's a bullpup system, so you've got all that weight there. You can having weight on the front is probably a benefit. You're going to balance it out. Not when they're on the left and right hand side of the gun. Not on the front. They're all like, oh, it took me four years to reload my gun. I just think you might be just slightly like. <laughs> it's not an M4. Mag flip. Boom. Back in. 
Don't care how accurate. Your argument for everything that isn't an M4 can be, it's not an M4. No, that's not what I said. Well, it is what you said. It it's takes I, longer to reload. Verbatim, it's just, you've just said it. <laughs> um, a lot. All these people are going to be like, oh, it's a longer platform, you're going to be more accurate, all this, that, and the other. It doesn't matter, because you're going to be dead. <laughs> yeah? It takes you that long to reload. It doesn't. Because you can't do two motions in one. M4, you can get rid of your mag as you get in your other one. Whereas the org, you're like, right, where's, where is the mag release in my armpit? Right, right behind, I've got to get in there, get that out, and then I'm like, this weird shape on the top so you can't stick it back in its pouch, it hooks up, this and the other. Right, you're going to grab another one. That weird knurling that's all over your mag sticks to your pouches, right, we'll pull that out, right, we'll get it in and click it in. Find your bolt release if you've got one, because they do do gas ones. You don't know where that is, do you? <laughs> Irrelevant. In a different place. <laughs> I rest my case. Stunning. I rest my case. Mm. I would say that a few of those arguments that Stu came out with were just a matter of training and just learning the gun. So, you know, whether those are necessarily yeah. a major... Well, longer reloading. If you give it to a four-year-old, yeah, yeah you might struggle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You, it does you, not matter all, how well you're you, trained, it is going to take you longer to reload an arc than an M4. Again, it's all time. All time. Yes, it is time. It might, be, it might be a short like, learning time, but it doesn't matter because you'd like to hope that we yeah. train our military services for the appropriate amount of time. And again... I could be cruel and unusual. The French use them. <laughs> the rest my case. That is, yeah. Well, we'll, the, French, uh, the French Legion. We'll, we'll forget that. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> we've got the scores uh, up, on the, up, on the, uh, up on the screen there. Just... I've got to decide how this one's going to go, though. I think I know. Green and black. Classic combination. Mm. Green and brown. Mm. Ignore the brown. The mag is brown. Yeah, it's like a P9, it's like a P9 mag. It's yeah, I'm, I'm, I am going to give it to Sam again. Oh, you're damn right. I'm sorry, but... Yeah, a lot <laughs> Don't of, apologise for being a lot of those, correct. A lot of those <laughs> issues that Stu brought up were a matter of just training your muscle memory to, uh, yeah. to, to, you know, to operate the gun. It's just different. No, just because it's different doesn't mean it's bad or wrong, yeah. Stu. Remember that. So, okay. next gun, please. Ooh, <laughs> right, okay. Sam, you're the four. You can go first. Well... When we talk about it, we've talked about M4s quite a bit on this on this game. Yeah, yes. Even and, though we haven't talked about an M4 specifically. And oh my goodness, is that like the king? Stunning, great. The, just that classic shape of the the rectangular kind of crossy square rail. Um, the actual ones we sell, if we're actually going to reel it back into airsoft, which we seem to you really very, should very quickly like <laughs> get off is. Um, the Umar X ones are peng. What? Why? Are you, I'm waiting for you to convince you, me. You, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. They're evil. Yeah. It's just it's stunning. They work so well. Um, just the action of them are great. They just you, you get everything that you get with an M4. So you get your um, your modularity, your or you can change all your mag stylings, barring maybe gas variants. Um, you've got all that, all that real estate, all real estate, optics everywhere. None, none of your potential org problems, Stuart. You've mm -hmm. just got all, all this space for your optics. They look amazing suppressed and amazing non-suppressed. They have that really nice flash hider. Um, what, what it's, it's just like, it's like SEAL Team Six. They're just, they're um, just so, a, a great uh, platform. The the four one six itself is an absolutely terrible platform. <laughs> um, the 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 rail system the rail system is randomly is randomly half an inch higher just because they have to fit the imaginary ga um, gas system that's in there. So you've got weird height issues. Um, you are completely limited on uh, aftermarket rail systems because they're keyed together. So you've got about two rails that you can use. Um, it's because you've got the little pin in the top. So if you try putting a normal rail on it, it's it's not going to work. Um, they are incredibly heavy. So yeah. if you wanted to run around for more than 10 minutes, you're going to have like googly arms because you're just going to be uh, cutting Heavier out. than running, weighted plates and an LMG all day. I'm talking about other people, not me. Okay. Um, the you're saying you're stronger <laughs> than everyone else. I'm stronger than you. <laughs> Um, the, Stu the, wins that argument. The, yeah. the stock, <laughs> the stock is just this lumpy, weird, uh, non. Furniture is easily changed. Yeah, 
as we've, um, we've established. The key crux of the 416. Go on. You can't put P mags in it. So the original receiver really? for the, the original receiver for Airsoft. The, the original receiver for the 416 has yeah. flat, whereas the M4 is angled. Right. The original P mags when they first came out were designed for M4s, yeah. so they had that weird cage on it. Can't fit P mags in a 416. So you can't really have cool 416. You've got to stick with the Stanax. But they do awesome Stanax. And, uh, and, and in Airsoft, the performance is... The not... weird sort of fat pistol grip as well. It's a bit... It's like... But, yeah, but people like that. That's like H&K stick. It's like someone's like put a balloon... <laughs> popped it up a little bit. It's like... Again, <laughs> I would also argue that, again, you could argue that's furniture and can be changed. It's more the look of the platform as a whole. Mm. Stanag mags offer just as many features in Airsoft that... P mags do. Mm. Some people even prefer. And when you get in a classic uh, platform like the 416, especially if you recreate in one of those special ops real world loadouts, you're going to want to stick with the Stanag. If you want the Stanag, but P mags are better. Yeah, well, it's like saying a P90, P90 can't fit M4 mags. I don't go, well, that's a benefit. That's 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 a detriment well, not, to it. It's like, they, well, no, the it's same, not meant like, to. The same caliber style magazine should be able to fit in the platform. Why? G36. You're just limiting yourself. G36. You same kind of it's caliber. Complete. It's complete. 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 Completely. 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 Completely different. Completely different. Completely. Completely different. Completely different. No, it, it's. <laughs> this is he just trying to mock <laughs> me. There's a yeah. there's yeah. a there's a reason it's been adopted by so yeah. many top tier like specialist units. Mm -hmm. It's it's got all. I mean, who needs to shoot a gun underwater? Why would you need to do that? It's pointless. It's nice to have the option. Yeah. Bullets don't go anywhere underwater. Yeah, they go enough. Yeah. If you're close enough. Yeah. They do what I need to do. Yeah. It's a well thought out platform. It's it's stylish and it's it's got cult status. So I, I'm it should definitely be kept alive. And I'm sure a lot of people will agree. A lot of people will agree with the L eighty five, but I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, all we're saying now is just Stu's just an untrustworthy character. <laughs> <laughs> so No, you can you can compare the four one six to a lot of platforms and it just Always comes second. Go on, what's it second to? The M4, the L119. It's just neater, it's just nicer. It's more streamlined. Well, it depends what... Again, that, I'd argue that's an aesthetic choice. No, because it's, it's, there's functionality about it. There's, like, your rail system on the 416 is extremely chonky. It is, but it's, it's, but it's, of, its, it's of its time. And now you do get 416 variants, which do... No, you've got the, do you've got the Giselle do, and all that kind of stuff. Do offer the airlock systems, no, like the HA. I'm not about the stuff. sides. Right. I'm not at all. You, are, you can't like, get rid yeah. of that height. But it's not. It's, no, it's massive. No, it's not. It's massive. It's not. It's huge. It's, it's noticeably different. You yeah. can't add any of these sort of really nice streamlined rails that you get with, like... You don't see any race 416s. They're all, they are purely spec for military. If you're wanting something that's... Fast I'm sorry, but if a gun spec for military is a bad thing, then maybe we should all just... Yeah, well, yeah, because it's purely designed for the lowest bidder, which means it's not good. No. Not true, <laughs> Stuart. It's 100% true. true. It's a great platform. I rest my I rest case. my case. Your case is arrested. Right, okay. <laughs> H&K is the god. Despite some uh, a sort of personal regression attacks. into childhood <laughs> personal attacks there... Um, I think Stu's argument was stronger. Yeah, it was. Yeah. He doesn't Sorry. have to agree. I just argued better. Yeah. Which which hurts me because I like the four. I think we all like the four one six. I like the four one six. Stu wants to get a four one six. I know. Why is, <laughs> why is this like? Why is it so hard, Sam? Yeah. <laughs> I'm um, sure that should be five four now. No. And, uh, no, that? no, it was. <sighs> yeah. There yeah, we go. Okay. There we go. I wanted you to see that when it went up. That's all. Right. Next so gun. We'll move on to the next gun. <laughs> it's very even. Uh, right. The Lee Enfield, number four. Well, let's do go first this time. Sam went la first last time. I mean, talk about forgotten in history. Just why? Why Why still have it when when 416s exist? You, I mean, <laughs> I, you don't, could quite, don't rub it in my oh, face. You could quite, oh. like, why have something like Lee Enfield that's. Uh, when you can just operate with something like that on the wall behind you. It's awkward to use, it's clunky, it's wood, it's going to get termites. Um, 
it's going to rot in the rain. Oh, yeah. It's just they're not. It's not going to last. It's not going to last. Um, you can't really make them look good either. You get them out of the box and that's it. They look good before you even get out of the box. So well, it's that shrouding as Italy Enfield now, is it? Yeah. <laughs> is it? Does it look good or not? It's both. The, it's from an era of just great marksman rifles. First off, mm. they're just absolutely. Well, it's, one, it's a quintessential British rifle. Mm. Um, they are uber popular amongst collectors, reenactors, and just airsofters. People do skirmish them. The ones we get in, um, we've had quite a few of these kind of rifles in recently. They're actually spot on. Um, the bolts, bolt action rifles, yeah, okay, it slows you down, but you then you're allowed you allowed to open yourself up to different classes, so you can run that sniper DMR style class. Um, you get more kind of immersion into the actual gameplay itself. But you could have more immersion and more fun with anything else. Well, wait, no, I don't. I don't I well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, no. <laughs> well, it depends what it depends what you're going for. Like, yeah, if you're in in the mood to doing some CQB or some fast full auto shooting, it's probably not. No, I'm just I'm it's probably not it, what you're going to pick like, from your you, kit bag. You go out to a woodland. You go yeah. out to a woodland. You want, in, you want to do the, some long range. There is action. nothing more satisfying than getting a, a kill when you have to. You have one round, and you're in. It makes you. It makes you like be careful. You want you wait. And, until you've got the shot, you're not just spraying and spraying into a bush and going, "Ah, oh, well, I ate him because I fired." So you're trying to argue the case that the DSG P9 is a terrible idea. Yeah, horrific. <laughs> Why do it? Why would you do that when you can? When get... you can have a Lee Enfield yeah. going one one at a time. It's like it's a Lee Enfield. Think yeah. think about where where guns would be now if it if it was never made. It'd be like the Renaissance. We'd would be we fifty years in the future? Would we be speaking German? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> It'd be like if Al Gore beat George Bush. We'd have flying cars. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, but and the wood wood the one they do multiple finishes, but the wood finishes is is actually really good. And let's it's not, it's uh, not, not going to dissolve in the rain. Let's hear a little bit more from Stu, and then I think we'll make a verdict. Um, so the the Lee Enfield itself is about four meters in length, so it's not exactly the most wieldy. <laughs> Three plus um, length. Yeah. So well, they about two cubits. Yeah, they're probably about a meter and a half. So they're not most wieldly. Even when it comes to bolt actions, yeah. they're not the most wieldly. Again, it's we should it, have a fact checker in here because it's it's, uh, a, it's a real wood, so it's going to be heavy. Yeah, oh. it's all the metal work on it, even heavier. You're going to want the weird sword thing on it, even heavier. So you're going to bolt pull this thing, and then you're going to go, and then you go, oh, I didn't hit him. Oh, I'm dead. It's, it's, it's if you run into a, a clearing with that, <laughs> yeah, you're not. Yeah, you're gonna. Yeah, but it's not for. It depends on the type of player you are, and it depends. Obviously, things appeal to the different people, and you've got. You've just got all the room to put anything. You can put anything you want on it. You can. We can. Well, within reason, you can put optic wise. You can. You can put scope on it. You can put a dot on You're it. You're down if, a heresy pass now. Uh, some people are going to be very some, upset. Be upset. I'm just saying, if people want to do it, you, the you, option, you, yeah. You, yeah, you've got the option. And okay. Okay. Um, and they're not that long and not that heavy. I don't, they are heavy. They're I, not. I, I think I'm ready to render a verdict. Um, put it on the black cap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to give that one to Sam. Yeah. Okay. I, I think it's time we can go to the next gun now, can't we? All right. And we'll have a look at the next one. GL6 grenade launcher. I've got to argue for, Sam has to argue against. Uh, go for it, Stu. Oh, you want me to go for it? Yes. I mean, what's more fun than cutting around maybe a CQB site with six Moscarts? Um, I've I've played CQB with sort of a standard M4 build with a GLM on like a, a UGL on it. Sat in a corner, wait for a minute to walk around the corner, poof, 150 rounds. Clears any door, clears any corridor. Um, the other option is six tag rounds at a milsim. Um, I think just the absolute hilarity of it is um, incredible. I really want to run six Moscats now. <laughs> <laughs> um, just It's just one of those impractical setups, really. Just but Impractical isn't a bad thing. 
oh, I'll just change my gameplay to make it work. Mm. Yeah. We spent the last hour of you going, oh, you just modify your gameplay. Modify your gameplay. Yeah, well, you could. I just don't think it'd be that fun. It's very limiting. You've not got the same accuracy. It's the fiddly to, accuracy. The fiddly to reload. You're gonna have gassing issues. It's again. It's probably a moderate temperature kind of. You've thing. never played LMG sort of gameplay, have you? No. Accuracy by volume. So if you've got one trigger pull, 150 rounds, you're gonna hit summer. Yeah. Well, maybe. Yeah. But there's also a chance that they all just duck behind some door, and then you go, and then you go. No one shouts hit, and then you're there going. <laughs> Well, now I've got to... So they get a second one, then? You don't have to touch it, though. It's semi-auto. Yeah, I guess. Semi-auto, six rounds. So what's that? Moscats, Moscats are dangerously unreliable. Incorrect. <laughs> dangerously? <laughs> Danger for your gameplay, I think. Right, OK. I Danger think he's for, on your, a, for yeah. your sanity. Yeah. Right, OK. I think he's on about his gameplay just not being very good. Well, I, I just... I would imagine it would not be very fun. Get good. Out of all, out of all the, the categories of, of the platforms, launches is the smallest for a reason. It's because there's not many real steel versions out. And again, there's, there's more probably airsoft launches than there are real steel launches because people like and want to use them. Yeah, there's, no, there's, and there's, there's like... I don't know, I'm, I'm going to go to the sniper backup again. I want a GLM as a sniper backup. Someone comes too close to me, poof. I mean, yeah, you could. I mean, it might be a bit big. It's, it's, see, I'd say having a Moscow launcher for a, a sniper backup isn't exact, isn't not feasible. Mm. I'd probably do it, but I'd probably want one of the single barrel ones. Just have it there ready. Having that big thing over your back. Yeah, but then not, you, you're, you're getting rid of you're getting rid of like a little section of players. If all of a sudden a, a patrol walks past you and you're if you, you in like, the like in the bushes, say, it's going to hit summit. It's going to hit summit, but six of them will hit more. And you can trick them out to make them look awesome. Yeah, it looks cool. Lasers, well, dot look, sights, look, torches. Looks cool, but it's impractical. Uh, no. Ah, so you're conceding that it's cool. Yeah, it looks cool. <laughs> but if that doesn't mean anything. It's not a practical thing to, to use. And then if you're uh, at a milsim or something like that, and you can just uh, cut around with six tag rounds, your first three will be smoke, the second three will be reapers. Put some cover down, blow up anyone that's inside it. What, and then are you, are they, are you're then... <laughs> Gonna have to commit to your first few smokes, and then no, because you have a you have a plan. You have a plan. You have a plan of and attack. Just, and do things always so go? Just, to, what happens? What happens if it don't go to plan? Blow everything up with your grenades. <laughs> just launch everything you've got <laughs> within that grenade launcher. Yeah. I rest my case. So tag or Moscats, you're gonna have a lot of fun. I think more often it's they're either not gonna f- explode. They're not gonna. They're going to either set on fire when they're not meant to, or they're going to leak out and just... Yeah. And plus reloading Moscats is a nightmare. So so a new video idea. You're happy to stand in front of a GLM with six Moscats in it. Excellent. Rest my case. Yep. Let's go. We'll pencil that one in for later. Mm. <laughs> mm. Go on. Regrets. Go on, please. Right. Voting time. Um... I... Yeah. Whilst I do agree that Moscow shells can be somewhat temperamental. Used to be. There's a lot better ones out there. They are better than they used to be. But we're generalising. And them. some, some yeah. are, some are not. But tag rounds. Oh boy. <laughs> are they allowed? I, on, they're, they're only allowed outside. So you are, you are limiting your. Again, it okay. depends where you're going. So you yeah, but then play. if you're playing inside with the Moscow, it's you know the short distances. It's going to hit. If it fires. It's very rare that they don't fire. It's more common that they just don't go very far, I would say. Anyway, uh, yeah, based on that, Stu. Stu wins. ka There you go. I think, so. you, I think you like the six-barrel launcher, really, don't you, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, let's Let, have a look let's at the next better than one barrel? Six barrels. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, why you do this to me? <laughs> the MP5. Uh, Sam, you uh, can SD6. go first this time. We, we, um, we touched on HK the other day. Mm. Um, they're just... what what a, One, what a range of guns HK mm. have done. 
um, from your four one sixes, your G threes, which we know you're very particular to. This isn't a G three. No, G threes are but far I, superior but to I the SD six. I would say the MP five is probably the most iconic out of HK's library, and the SD six variant is. Oh, as you would say, <laughs> as you would say, sneaky beaky, right? Mm. It's, it's everything the MP five has, but one it looks nicer and has your little sneaky suppressed vibe. Oh, oh, boring. B- boring. 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 To make them remotely good, you've got to add loads of stuff to them. Like, there's no... Like what? You've, like you want an optic on it? You want an optic on it? You've yeah. got to buy an extra claw mount. You've got to buy a claw mount, make it look remotely good. Um, you were complaining about the VSS, Vinterez and stuff like that, strapping bits to your suppressor or the front end. You've got to do the same thing. No. So, if you're wanting to remotely make these look good... No, again, because no, because SD6s have multiple variants in Airsoft. Stock, that's it. Mm-hmm. The SD6 is an SD6. You've got I've seen, you've got ones with rail. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, you've rail. got to put that on. The SD6 is an SD6. If you want to put rail on it, you've got to add that. So yeah. um, you get all kinds of customization out hand, the box. hand guards that go around out the box, out depending the box. on which one you get. It might not SD6. be this super easy, but you could say that about a lot of rifles. It doesn't distinguish the M4s come with rails out of the box. SD6 doesn't. Yeah, because it doesn't, it doesn't need it. It's yeah. It's got <laughs> HK have awesome iron sights anyway. Why are you lying to yourself? I love those iron sights. Them little peepholes. Terrible. I'm going to try and get my cheek down here and look through this tiny little hole like that and maybe see what someone two feet in front of me. Don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to. Hang on. Hang on. He's a little bit further away. Give me a minute. I'm just going to change my range. <laughs> Give me, uh, two seconds. Sorry. Sorry. Stop shooting at me. Hang on. Uh, oh, no. He's closer. I've got to turn it back now. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> Stop the war. I need to change my sights. Terrible. It's and, and again, it's it's a polymer gun. Ugh. It's like the G36. It's a plastic. <laughs> plastic. Ugh. Toys. Built expertly. One, not all polymer. It's just polymer parts on the front. Yeah. But the original MP5's handguard is, is polymer. Yeah. Trash. It's a, it's, <laughs> a, it's, a, it's a HK staple. Yeah. Doesn't mean it's good. It does. It keeps, it keeps weight down. You've got all the nice metal bits. You've got the oh, HK fire selector icons. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's designer. No, it's designer. That alone. It's, it's that inner alone. designer demons coming out that now. Alone I, I'm not sure that just you know vocal noises are making a good argument here. Oh, they should be. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't even know why I'm having to argue this. I don't understand. It's MP5s. There's so many better SMGs out there. So many better. There are a couple. So many. You could have anything. You could have anything. You could have a, a you could have a rattler, you could have the MPX, you could have all these things that are just better. No. You know. No. You could like the rattler, still suppressed, five five six, similar size. You just you've got the collapsing stock. You can run around, do exactly the same thing, but have more rounds. They do drum mags for MP5s. There are loads of mag. There's, it's it's a very popular platform, so you've got lots of mag compatibility. The LA5 was a popular platform, but we you've got, figured that out. You've got, you've got a lot. You've got a lot of different external things you can do to them to modify them. We know people that like to have modified MP5s and made them look very unique. They're just that's what I mean. So this thing. People are looking at it and going, don't like that, I need to change it. No, they want to, That's make, what they want to make it their own. It's a canvas that you can express your airsoft like personality <laughs> onto. Yeah. yeah. I I don't So think, you're having to change what this thing is to make it remotely good. It's like it's like shouting at a loaf of bread, right? Going, Well, that's a bit boring. But the things you can do with bread, you can, you know, nice sandwiches, toast. Breadcrumbs to like pan air, like nice. I think he's going. <laughs> way off I just, I, I just think you're going. Oh well, it, out of the box, it's a bit plain. It's like you no, just, it's the it's the perfect starting place. They'll give you anything you don't need, and they give you all the ability afterwards to do what you want to it with the performance that they have. So you're just saying you don't need anything. We, we've there. we've What's point? we've just upgraded one of these, and it's amazing. Mm-hmm. People haven't seen that yet. It's amazing. I don't honestly. It, but as you say, we've had out the box. More boring. It's not it's boring. Not boring. boring. It's it. not boring. Yeah. Wrong. Wrong. Have we Harry. have we uh, <laughs> have we reached a conclusion? I think uh, he he went onto bread. I don't know what happened then. <laughs> <laughs> but he was starting to get a bit more passionate. So you know, well done, Sam, for that. Um, mm. Don't put the scores up. It makes him pity. 
Pity point it into a draw. He's picking well, well, no, I'd already kind of made my mind up before that appeared on screen, thankfully. Mm. Uh, and again, purely based on strength of argument, I'm going to have to go with Stu. Sorry. You, it was I really little, like the SD6, but oh, I, it was too little, too late, yeah. Sam. You just you were you were all just sat there all going. All he does oh. is just go mm. rubbish, <laughs> and then you go. Mm. No, I explained why they were boring, and everyone had to change. Everyone has to like add bits to them and change mm. them. And Stu was like, coming up with reasons, whereas reasons. you're just sitting you said, there. You said I like toast. <laughs> I like turtles. Everyone likes toast. <laughs> oh, come on, let's look at the next. Yeah, the next gun. This is a fix. This is a fix. Easy. <laughs> Crack on. <laughs> There's a spoon down here somewhere. You can dig yourself out of this hole. Uh, Talk to me, Goose. Give me a minute. Right. Give me a I'll tell you what, Stu, go first then. Right, so the L85 in general is... And again, this is personal experience. A ter- terrible platform when it comes to weapon handling. Uh, location of any control on it is wrong. Um, it's not what you said earlier. It's this is the AFE. Yeah. That was the that was the A one. We're talking about the AFE now. Um, <laughs> again, bullpup. Just the the reloading of a bullpup just takes so much longer than many other platforms. Um, and then we go for the AFV one. So the idea of a bullpup system is we have a full-size carbine build with the magazine behind the uh, mechanism so you can have a full-size barrel in it. I know what we'll do. And the idea of the A1 was so it could be taken in armour and be a shorter platform. Oh, we can take these in uh, tanks and things like that and it's nice and compact. And then they went, oh dear, they're too big. Let's make a smaller one. The smaller one that then has to have an extra bit on it to put a grip on it, so your muzzle is almost behind your hand. Terribly dangerous. Um, you've then got like a the tiniest barrel remotely possible. So your accuracy is probably about four miles. It's like the Abrams tank. It'll go that way. Yeah? Smooth bore. <laughs> but again, controls dovetail, iron sights on a tiny, tiny platform. This is why tankies, when they get them, they go, uh, I'll put that in that bin and shoot the tank. Yeah, but I mean, when given an option between a tank and an L85, I'm pretty sure I'd probably take the tank as well. Mm. But that's not what we're doing here, Stuart. Mm. That's not what we're doing. No, but it's a reason. They, they, what they've done, the, the wonderful and beautiful creators of the L85 have done, is they've, admitted that they made maybe a slight mistake, which is not easy to do. It you know takes strength of character. Um, and then they've gone, well, we hear your feedback and we're gonna, we're gonna amend the design slightly. We're gonna take all your feedback, we're gonna sprinkle it into this and they, they come out. It looks like something that looks like, too hot a that, wash. It looks like it's, it's come been, out shrunk. It looks like it's been chiseled out of a piece of Italian marble. It's gorgeous. And about to break at any time, yeah. No. Solid. <laughs> Beautiful. Slightly shiny. No arms. But no arms. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah. What toast? Now it, now Italian it, marble. It is a purpose built rifle designed for a specific purpose and it, it achieves the purpose. Yes, some things have had to be sacrificed, but I don't think you can knock it for like that. Like looks? I don't think it had the looks to begin with, not sacrificed them. Mm. So it looks terrible. It's kept the classic looks that were had become very familiar amongst their users. That's what I will say. I I think I, th- I think when you adapt a platform to do a specific purpose, you and like they had a you, rear heavy gun, like a back heavy gun, yeah. and then took more off the front. Yeah. yeah. But then it's just like, ah. It's like, oh, I've not shouldered it properly. It's now at the sky. Oh, give me, hang on. We'll again. stop the war again for me to reload. Hang on. <laughs> stop the war. Stop the war. <laughs> Pull the magazine out. Put another one in. Oh, oh, I've then got to go over this side to rack it in case. I think we've already, and let's est- talk uh, about, we, we've already established those points uh, to do let's with Let's talk training. about stoppages. Okay. I'll yeah. stop you right there. Thank you. Because <laughs> you know you've lost. <laughs> No, I rest my case. You rest your you rest your case, but it, it is a wonderful gun, and I'm sure I could find hundreds of incorrect of, people of of, of of people that have served with this rifle, and it would have it would have done them done them well in the field. It could have just been better by being. An they M4. may have no fingers at the front now. 
<laughs> That's the MP5. But they'll be fine. I rest my case. Is that your argument? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, okay. Well, I think, uh, yeah, again, that's, that's what, three in a row now? Mm, Stu, Stu uh, you get that one again, I'm afraid. Again, Sam, I'm just not convinced. I've been done with I, I know. <laughs> I, I know. I they know. can't tag me twice. With I it. want to believe you. I want to believe you. If I could give evil through the wall, I would. <laughs> I want to believe me as well, Pete. Right, let's go on to the next one, which I think is the final one. The Chiapa Charging Rhino, who doesn't like revolvers, incredible, right? <laughs> okay. Incredible. Like, I am a strong advocate for any 80s action film where there's... Everyone's running around with Glocks and things like that. The person who rolls up with a six-shooter and just goes, this is all I need because you're all going to die. You roll up to an airsoft site with your big cojones, and you're like, I don't need a high cap. I don't need 25 rounds in my Glock. I just need six, and you're all going to die. And then we're talking about looks. Peng, right? This thing is like either you've got the, the standard one, the black one. You can get the gold one. Harley Quinn uses one. Amazing. Um, <laughs> and it's got that unique sort of characteristic you want to sort of stand out from all the rest the the barrel being at the bottom again real steel it's meant to be mitigating recoil um i just think they look awesome and it looks like a rhino which is hard as nails you are correct it does look like a rhino a rhino stuck in a wind tunnel it looks it looks it <laughs> right looks, they right look, we need no. to stop we need to stop we need to stop hold on Stu. We need to stop with these sort of um Media sort of perfections. You see magazines with all these beautiful women and stuff like that, right? Stop, stop abusing rhinos, right? Because back in the day, they, just because they're slightly bigger now, yeah, they just, they just sort of unicorns that have let it go a little you, bit. Are you saying the Kappa rhino is a unicorn? Is a pl- it's just, is a plus size. It's there, just so fat and grey. Right. <laughs> right. Let's hear Sam speak. Let's let's give him his uh, time in the light here. Does look like a rhino, ugly and grey. Right. The crow. Yeah. All black. Yeah. All gold. It also, you might I'd say, you, you, might say you like the styling, but what it looks like really is that it's got stuck in elevator doors and it's just been flattened in certain <laughs> certain aspects of it. Um, it's also very dear and is a solid, it's basically a solid piece of like aluminium. Oh, it's awesome. Well ever. If it doesn't work, you can always hit him with it. Yeah, you, can, yeah. You, you go to your local CQB site and hit someone with it, and we'll see. Don't hit people; you're going you, to. There'll be bars drink. at front of you. For <laughs> it's the. It, I don't. It's not. A, it's not a practical pistol. You might say it looks good. Yeah, maybe it does for your wall, but to use it, it's not practical. You've only got your six shots. You might feel like an eighties action hero for six shots, and then you're going to be dead. It's a sidearm. You're going to have a primary, but imagine how awesome them kills are going to be. If you've bought that, you can't afford. Them. Primary, <laughs> so I don't think so. No, I think uh, I think you're going to be cutting around every time you pop that off and you get a kill. You're going to be you're going to be hyped up. You are going to be hyped up because it doesn't happen much. <laughs> that's what. Because I mean. it very right. yeah, that's what. You... Well, it happens six times and then you're done. Everyone else, oh, I need five hundred rounds to get three kills. I need six rounds to get six kills. I d- doubt right. <laughs> Hecking heck doubt. One v one me. This is another video setup idea here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do like me, baby. You can have your P90, I'll take a rhino. Kiapa rhinos at, yeah. uh, at dawn. Four. First to six. <laughs> yeah. Every time you die, you've got to add an extension to your P90. Yeah, it's not. It's. No. Just no. <laughs> Is Just that no. your argument? No. no. My you... argument, yes. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> I right, rest okay. my case. Yeah, yeah. No. Is, is that it? You're done. I'm done. You're done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No. Uh, I think you've let me down a bit again, Sam. Again, you're just kind of like, eh, meh, eh. I'm more convinced by Stu's argument. He's just a pathological liar. (laughs) That's all this is sure. That may be. That may be. But But I'm a convincing one. But it works, yeah. I'm trying to work within within the truth and bolster certain aspects of the truth. Mm. You are lying. No. You are lying to Pete. 
and you align to them. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just, I think I need to get that spoon to get you out of this hole again. So, uh, yeah, with, with that final point going to Stu, I think we could probably bring up the scores now. Oh, look at that, nine to five. It was a brave effort, Sam, but then last was. ones, you just, you yeah. just fizzled. You fizzled, the, you, the, you did. The LA5 was hard. <laughs> it wasn't that hard. <laughs> no, but I think, um, I hope everyone has enjoyed that. Again, I haven't. these these were all very much forced opinions. Yes. Uh, some one way, some the other. Yes. Um, I think every platform that's on there will have a fan base that's probably upset now. And every single platform on there has definitely a place in Airsoft. You can you can make anything work, um, even if like when we were looking at some things saying that they were awkward and our argument that they were awkward, but again, that's part of the fun. I, I'm sure some people have actually learned some things about some of the platforms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I whether think whether they're have, true or not is another uh, matter. Well, that's but, a yeah. fact check. I think, I think some people have uh, finally found out my feelings on the L85. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> if you want to run an L85, please do that. Don't make me do it. I'm not keen. Um, or, if you like and comment, we will make him do it. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if that is um, the end of our, uh, what is this, the second in the game show series, we've got plenty of more ideas. If you've got uh, some uh, ideas or anything that you want us to cover when it comes to, uh, if we want to do another part two of the for and against, and you want them to hear forced opinions on your platform or platforms that you've got or your mates Interesting. have got. Interesting, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we can, we can uh, probably... It's just turning into roast my platform, isn't it? Yeah, roast my platform. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> roast my platform. If you want us to roast your platform, that is something we can look. <laughs> but as always, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, thanks for Sam for joining me. Sam, Sam, thanks for Pete to being, for being as impartial as possible. I try. Sam, I try. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we hope you've enjoyed that and we'll be back very, very soon. But until then, I'll see you in a bit.